Now we're going to talk about the most important, uh, most common crystal structures that we see. We start with the simplest case, that simple cubic structure. As you can see, we have a cube. Uh, one side uh, length is A, so that's our lattice constant. The atoms are located at the corners of the cube. And I have demonstrated the three basis vectors, or, or one choice of basis vectors, A1, A2, A3. So those are basically A i hat, A j hat, and A k hat. And because we have eight atoms at the corners of the cube, um, when we put the other cubes next to these, uh, we will see that the lattice point per cell will be eight times eight from the corners and one eight of each is inside the cell uh, so total is one so as i said the lattice constant is a therefore the volume of the cube is a cube now if we count the number of nearest neighbors so if you look at uh, one of these atoms for example uh, let's look at uh, this one uh, so uh, if I start counting, basically I will see that there will be a one nearest neighbor here, another nearest neighbor uh, here. And then if I continue, uh, so I went up uh, A, so if I go down an A, I will find uh, another nearest neighbor. But before doing that, let's go to the right an A, so this is number three. So uh, for each of these, one, two, and three, I can also go in the negative direction where I would find number four, number uh, five, and number six. So there would be another atom here that would be one of the nearest neighbors, another atom here that would be one of the nearest neighbors, and another at atom at the back that would be another nearest neighbor. So I find that the total number of nearest neighbors is six. The number of nearest neighbors we call coordination number. So using this close packed hard sphere approximation, basically we're assuming that these atoms are hard spheres and that the nearest neighbors are actually touching each other. So if you concentrate on one of the uh, faces of this cube, you see that uh, we have uh, four uh, atoms. Uh, that are participating in one phase so they are touching uh, so the, the nearest neighbors are at the uh, the corners so they're touching each other and I can see that I have uh, 2r is equal to a so that is the nearest neighbor distance uh, is equal to a so nearest neighbor distance is equal to a and 2r is equal to a so what is the total volume occupied by hard spheres because i have a uh, one lattice point per cell so i have one hard sphere per cell so the volume occupied by hard spheres is four thirds pi r cube but since r is equal to a over 2 it's four thirds pi a cube over 8 or pi a cube over 6. Now the total volume of the cell is a cubed, so if I take the ratio, I find what I call the packing fraction, the volume occupied by hard spheres divided by the volume of the unit cell, that is pi over 6, I find the packing fraction of 0 0.524. Uh, a good example is alpha phase polonium. Okay. Uh, now we have three types of densities we can talk about. If you take the atomic weight and divide it by the Avogadro's number, you will find the, the weight of one atom. And since I have one atom per cell here, uh, the mass of one atom divided by the volume of the cell, A cube, uh, is going to be the density of the material. And Avogadro's number is 6.02 10 to 23. For aerial density, I would look at the number of atoms in the plane and divide it by the area of the plane. And for linear density, I would look at the number of atoms on a given lattice vector and divide it by the length of the lattice vector to get the linear density. Next, we have body-centered cubic structure. Uh, as you can see, we have eight atoms at the corners and one atom at the body center. Uh, one, one choice of uh, 
basis vectors is shown here a1 a2 and a3 is along the body diagonal so the number of lattice points per cell then would be a times eight times one over eight because i have eight atoms at the corners and one inside the cell right in the middle so it is two so therefore this is not a primitive uh, unit cell the coordination number is eight and that is quite obvious so if you start counting the nearest neighbor is uh, a distance is a square root three over two so this would be one two three four five six seven eight so i find eight uh, nearest neighbors uh, for the atom in the middle so the nearest neighbor distance is a square root three which is body diagonal divided by two we can think about this body centered cubic uh, cell as considered uh, can be considered as two interpenetrating simple cubic lattices that are displaced from each other so uh, along the body diagonal so a distance a square root 3 over 2 uh, now since the nearest neighbor distance is a square root 3 over 2 so here I'm uh, basically looking at the nearest neighbors this is the atom in the middle uh, so this is the body center here uh, and I have the nearest neighbors touching each other so 4r is equal to the body diagonal a square root 3 so 2r is a square root 3 over 2 um, so the set of primitive uh, vectors is a i hat a j hat plus uh, a 3 a a over 2 i hat plus j hat plus k hat that's the body diagonal a good example is alkali metals lithium sodium potassium rubidium and cesium next we have face centered cubic structure uh, the atoms are at the corners are also at the face centers so we have eight at the corners six at the face centers so uh, the corners contribute one eighth of their volume the ones at the face centers contribute half of their volume so we have eight times one over eight plus six times one over two four atoms per unit cell the packing fraction for this one if you calculate is 0.74 the coordination number for face centered cubic structure is 12 and uh, where are the nearest neighbors here uh, the nearest neighbors are basically at the face faces and the nearest neighbor distance is a square root 2 over 2 which is equal to twice the radius or a diameter of one of the hard spheres in this approximation okay so um, a set of primitive vectors uh, we can choose a over 2 i hat plus j hat a over 2 i hat plus k hat a over 2 j hat plus k hat these are vectors that are pointing in the uh, face uh, diagonals basically a good example is uh, most metals silver aluminum gold copper lead uh, they all tend to be face centered cubic if you look at the face centered cubic structure in the 111 direction you will see the following stacking a b c so um, so you have to imagine that you are looking at this uh, in the 111 direction so here is um, let's plot here so this is the 111 direction so we're looking at it uh, in this direction and we see this stacking a b c okay and a hexagonal closed back structure is closely related to this it can be considered as two simple hexagonal lattices displaced from one another by a1 over 3 a2 over 3 plus a3 over 2 so what is a1 a2 a3 here a1 and a2 are two uh, vectors that are at an angle 120 degrees with respect to each other pointing from the center atom the base center towards one of the atoms at the corners and a3 is uh, perpendicular to both a1 and a2 it's basically uh, pointing in on the c axis of the hexagon the simple hexagonal lattice means you don't have the atoms in the middle so if you take a simple hexagonal lattice which is a base centered structure uh, and you displace it by uh, a1 over 3 a2 over 3 and a3 over 2 you obtain the hexagonal closed back structure 
for an ideal hexagonal closed back structure, C is square root 8 over 3 uh, A. So A is our one of our lattice constants in this case. So since we have three atoms in the middle, uh, six atoms uh, and one over six of each is contributing from the corners. That's from one base, but there are two bases, the bottom and top. So we obtain six times one over six times two, plus uh, two atoms at the base centers, uh, two times one half. They contribute half of each to the unit cell. Uh, we obtain 3 plus 2 plus 1, 6 atoms per cell. As I said, the angle between A1 and A2 is 120 degrees, but between A1, A3 and A2 and A3 is 90 degrees. A good example is cobalt. Uh, now, comparing hexagonal closed pack structure with face centered cubic structure, if you uh, put your heart spheres like this, you can see that if you connect the A's and then if you connect the B's, uh, which are uh, basically lining up with the uh, space in between the two uh, A atoms, uh, so you obtain this type of stacking, um, the, the triangle and hexagon repeating itself in the hexagonal stru uh, closed back structure. So that's looking from top to bottom of the hexagonal closed back structure. On the other hand, in the face-centered cubic structure, I mentioned that we have this ABC stacking. So that is looking at the fa face-centered cubic structure in the 111 direction, along the 111 direction. Uh, we see that we have uh, this hexagonal uh, contribution, uh, uh, one triangle that is pointing up and one triangle that is pointing down. So it's basically these two structures have the same uh, packing fraction, however they have different type of stacking. So stacking is one important feature of these uh, lattice structures, crystal structures. Another important case is the sodium chloride structure. It's a face-centered cubic structure which has a basis consisting of two atoms of different types, sodium and chlorine ions at 0, 0, 0 and 1 half, 1 half, 1 half. So basically uh, we are grouping uh, these two together and uh, that forms a basis. So uh, this is number one. This is number two. So we have two atoms that build up the bases. And <clears throat> we can think about this as two FCC sublattices of sodium and chlorine that are separated by A over two from each other. Um, so if you look at uh, the uh, chlorine atoms or sodium atoms, you find that there are six uh, nearest neighbors and what is the nearest neighbor distance here it is uh, a over 2 right so if you count uh, the number of nearest neighbors uh, for example if I concentrate on the uh, uh, atom in the middle so if I start counting the nearest neighbors I see a 1 here 2 here uh, 3 here, 4 here, 5 here, and 6 here. So there are 6 nearest neighbors of the opposite kind that are a distance A over 2 from the uh, atom. So the A over 2 is the nearest neighbor distance in this case. <coughs> and another important crystal structure is cesium chloride structure. It's a body-centered cubic uh, structure with cesium atoms at the corners and chlorine in the middle and vice versa. Uh, so that's at the body center. Uh, it's simple cubic with a basis of cesium at 0, 0, 0 and chlorine at 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2. So we can basically group these two and call it a basis. So that's our basis and we are putting this in the simple cubic Breve lattice to build this cesium chloride crystal structure. <clears throat> Uh, diamond structure is also a very important structure. It's uh, seen typically in uh, semiconductors, elemental semiconductors, carbon, germanium, and silicon. It's an F FCC lattice, face centered cubic lattice, with a basis of two atoms at 0, 0, 0, and 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth. So the basis is here. 
these two atoms form the basis. Um, so you can see that we have eight atoms at the corners, one eighth of each is contributing to the cell, eight times one over eight, six atoms at the face center, six times one half, and four atoms within the unit cell. Uh, total is eight atoms per cell. The nearest neighbor distance is the distance between the atoms in the basis that is a square root three over four that is equal to two r. So you can prove that the Peckman fraction for this diamond structure is 0 0.34. <clears throat> Zinc plant structure is a related structure. It's uh, basically a diamond lattice, but then uh, the basis uh, contains atoms of two different kinds. So we have, uh, for example, gallium and arsenic. So gallium arsenide is a 3,5 compound semiconductor and zinc sulfide, uh, those are all belonging to this zinc plant structure. It's the diamond lattice, but the basis consists of two different types of atoms. Okay, so these are basically the most common crystal structures we need to be aware of. Simple cubic, uh, body-centered cubic, face-centered cubic, hexagonal closed-packed structure, uh, sodium chloride structure, cesium chloride structure, diamond structure, and also uh, zinc plant 